In today's video, we're going over the top six probiotics, choosing the best for you. Welcome to the circle, it's the win team. Damn, son, where'd you find this? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Chase Wheeler and in today's video we're going over the top six best probiotics supplement version, choosing the best for you. Just as a disclaimer, I will be citing a lot of research, a lot of material, a lot of articles that need further research that need to be seen in multiple populations with more data added to it. So none of this should be taken as direct medical advice and you should always consult your doctor before consuming or trying anything new. So supplements as a whole from protein powder to green juice to probiotics is a very confusing topic. A lot of the brands seem the same, but they all claim to be the one brand that can help. And probiotics are no different. They come in pill form, they come in juice form, drink form, powder form. They all have different number of bacterial strains, different types of bacteria. You never really know what you're buying. You never really know if it's helping your gut or not. In this video, we're gonna to try to answer some of the most frequently asked questions about probiotics and give you a list of the top six probiotics that I've found have helped. One of the most frequently asked questions, of course, is what are probiotics? Probiotics are live microorganisms that provide health benefits when administered in adequate amounts. And how can we talk about probiotics without talking about prebiotics, the things that feed our probiotics in our gut? And that leads us to what symbiotics are, which actually in a supplemental form, you can get both probiotics and prebiotics all in one pill. Another one of the most frequently asked questions is what to look for in probiotic. So here we have a brand that suggests 10 times larger cells than the average bacteria of probiotics. Here we have a brand that suggests 100 billion guaranteed 34 probiotic strains. Here's a brand that says daily, digestive daily probiotics with prebiotics. Here's a brand that says support digestion for antibiotics, try to release potent probiotic benefits. How do you know what's what? But when we're talking about what to look for in probiotics, you wanna check number one, the CFUs or colony forming units. How many live microorganisms are in each serving. At the bare minimum, you want 1 billion CFUs, colony forming units per serving. And when we start to look at quality probiotics, they start to get into the 5 billion range. So more than likely, we want to search for the 5 billion range. One of my favorite has 112.5 billion. This is a little extreme. We'll get into why this one is has so much. But the second thing we want to look for is strain types. Some of the best probiotics are going to have at least one of the three most researched and well-known probiotic strains to help improve gut health. And those strains are going to be Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium, and Saccharomyces. Don't worry if you can't pronounce it. That's okay. It took me a while too. But, and I don't even know if I still pronounce it well, but we want one of those three strains. And then the third thing to look for that's kind of a criteria that I search for on my own is if it's refrigerated or non-refrigerated. When you go pick your probiotics that are non-refrigerated, there's no telling how long they've been on the shelf. If they've been on the shelf for two weeks, over a month, more than likely a lot of them are dead. So the CFU that's on the box is not necessarily the CFU that's in the pill. Even the refrigerator probiotics can survive a while outside the refrigerator, but when you store them in the fridge, they just last longer. Another one of the most frequently asked questions is when should I take my probiotics? It's suggested that you take it with meals and on a daily basis. Taking your probiotics on a daily basis with meals is going to help reinforce that healthy microbiome ecosystem. Even though the best time to take probiotics is with a meal, you can't think that taking probiotics is going to combat eating a meal high in processed foods, high in animal meat, high in um, unhealthy fats and fried foods. We still need to make sure that we're eating prebiotic rich foods with our probiotics, which includes leafy greens, high fiber foods. Another frequently asked question, who needs probiotics? How do you know if you need probiotics? A few of us who can benefit from probiotics as a supplement include those with IBD, IBS, because these individuals have larger fluctuations in their microbiome. So probiotics as a supplement is going to help kind of maintain a homeostatic level. Another sign you may need probiotic as a supplement is if you've been lacking mental clarity, you have some brain fogginess, some depression, anxiety, maybe a lack of energy as well. And the reason for this is because the gut brain connection is very strong. Another sign that you may benefit from probiotics as a supplement is if you struggle with unhealthy stool habits. So if you have a frequency of constipation, a frequency of diarrhea, your microbiome is more than likely out of whack, a probiotic supplement might help get you on the right track. And actually of all the brands that I kind of threw at you in the beginning, 
Some of those brands are meant for constipation, others are meant for diarrhea, so stay tuned to find out which is which. A fourth sign you might need probiotics as a supplement is if you suffer from skin problems such as psoriasis or eczema, and the reason being is that the microbiome is a total package. It includes the skin as well, so not only is your gut affected when you take probiotics, but it affects your skin, your saliva, other glands as well. So think about getting your gut right to get your skin right. The fifth group of people is those who have a recent use of antibiotics. Antibiotics are gonna be good at destroying the bad bacteria that may have caused sickness that requires you to take the antibiotics, but antibiotics are also going to destroy the good bacteria. So taking some of these supplements is going to help repopulate the gut with a good bacteria at the same time that you might be destroying some of the good bacteria. And actually this brand here, Florigen, is meant for those who have the antibiotic side effect. So the sixth sign that you might benefit from probiotics as a supplement is if you have a high sugar or carbohydrate craving. So this is going to speak to the unhealthy levels of the bad bacteria versus good bacteria in our microbiome with the bad bacteria dictating kind of your food choices that you want the carbs and the sugar. Again, I can't stress this enough. You can't take probiotics and continue to eat high sugar, high carbohydrate diet and expect the probiotics to work. So the American Gastroenterology Association actually has supported data that babies in pre born preterm birth should, can actually benefit from probiotics as well. And a lot of these brands actually have formulas for infants and kids. The American Gastroenterology Association also has evidence to support that IBD, IBS patients can benefit from probiotics as well as those with recent use of antibiotics. Some signs that your probiotics are working so you don't have to guess and check. Number one of the easiest signs is of course going to be our stool health. You can check the Bristol stool chart see how your stool is doing, if it's improving. The second sign is going to be a decrease in those sugar and carbohydrate cravings. You're able to sustain energy longer. So well, that's kind of the third sign is the increase in energy. The fourth sign that your products are working is going to be a clearness of mind. And the fifth, of course, is going to be that your skin is going to clear up, look a little bit more vibrant, maybe like a model or something like that. Some side effects of taking probiotics are going to include gas, bloating, and diarrhea, um, indigestion, uh, upset stomach. It doesn't really make sense that you would take something to support your gut health and it produces worse gut health for you. But the reason being is that you need to give your body a chance to balance those levels of bacteria. The bacteria that are in there or that you're taking are going to create gas as a result of the changes and that's going to come out somewhere. Who's going to want to avoid probiotics? People with severely compromised immune systems such as cancer patients on chemotherapy or those with the intravenous line. A few more things to consider before you get started. We already discussed the side effects such as gas, bloating, diarrhea. We're also going to want to consider that each strain serves a different purpose and that not one probiotic is suited for all. So if your friend suggested a probiotic and it works great for them, it may not be the best for you. And lastly, continuous consumption is needed for sustained desired results. If you're finding value in this video so far, go ahead and comment and let me know other questions you might have about probiotic supplements. In order of rating, let's go over the top six probiotics. Number one, we got VizBiome. VizBiome is by far the most expensive, but worth the price. VizBiome is clinically tested in over 250 patients for the dietary management of dysbiosis in IBS, UC, pouchitis, and hepatic encephalopathy. One of the things that makes VizBiome so effective is that it contains an eight strain cocktail with a lot of the strains being clinically proven and that it has 112 billion CFUs, bacteria per capsule, colony forming units. The pros for VizBiome is that it's extensively researched in humans. It contains eight high quality strains. The CFU count is proven to work in a number of ailments. The cons is that it's very pricey. VizBiome receives a 4.8 out of five on the wealthy rating, my favorite take it every day. Number two is Florigen. Florigen is attractive because it contains a three strain probiotic blend and needs to be refrigerated. We talked about how refrigeration is a good thing. They also have a special formula for women to support vaginal health and for children to support food, allergy, and immune health. Some of the main benefits of Florigen include GI support of the intestinal lining, improving allergies, and women's health. So it's got two of the three most important strains, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, and it contains 15 billion live CFUs, cultures per capsule. The pros is that it contains three highly researched strains, a high number of CFUs, and that has formula for women and kids. Florigen receives a 4.5 out of five on the wealthy rating. It's also priced very well. So number two on the list, Florigen. Number three on the list is Florastor. Florastor contains Saccharomyces, which is larger and stronger than other probiotics, increasing intestinal coverage for protection. 
This is good for preventing diarrhea and helping lactose intolerance. However, there is minimal evidence to support that it helps manage IBD or IBS symptoms. The pros for Fluorostor is that it's proprietary Saccharomyces bacterial strain, which, is long, which claims to be longer and stronger, prevents diarrhea. It provides minor support, if any, to IBD or IBS. And there's additional supplements for kids and infants with a prebiotic formula. The cons is that it's only one strain and has minimum CFU count. So Floristore receives a four out of five on the wealthy rating. Number four on the list is going to be Garden of Life Ultimate Care Probiotics. So Garden of Life actually has 34 bacterial strains and 100 billion live cultures per capsule, helping Garden of Life pack a strong punch for your gut. Some of the main benefits of Garden of Life probiotics include relieving constipation, improving digestion, and serving as a multivitamin. The pros include the 34 strain count, which includes bifidobacteria proven to relieve constipation, and the number of CFUs, the live cultures per capsule. The cons is that it's somewhat pricey, and because it doesn't require refrigeration, you're unsure about stability throughout the GI tract. So Garden of Life raw probiotics get a 3.8 out of 5 on the wealthy rating. Number five is going to be Culturel. Culturel contains a lactobacillus strain that is the number one most clinically studied probiotic strain, proven to survive stomach acid and support a strong barrier of the intestinal wall. Some of the main benefits of this strain is that it prevents diarrhea and the GI support. The pros is that Culturel comes with a prebiotic and probiotic formula to support a symbiotic relationship. The cons is that it contains a minimal number of strains, minimal strain count. So Culturel gets a 3.5 out of five on the wealthy rating. Fifth on the list is Align. Align's main strain is a bifidobacterium strain, which is evaluated in two clinical studies. One study found significant reductions in pain, bloating, and improved bowel movements. The pros is that it contains a well-researched strain, which is widely available. The cons is that it has a limited number of strains and the bare minimum CFUs. So Align receives a three out of five on the wealthy rating. There you have it. I hope that after watching this video, you can go out and make an educated decision on what probiotics you may need to support your gut health. If you found value in this video and you feel more prepared to make an educated decision about which probiotic strain is right for you, go ahead and smash the like, hit the subscribe. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay wealthy. Yay!